Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is said that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So applies in the fish keeping and aquascaping world either. So today we will be talking about topics like the best tank size, best fish, etc. and also some tips and other information for absolute beginners. So keep on watching. First, let's talk about the tank size. I have seen people start with a bowl or a 1 feet into 1 feet tank. But believe me, the smaller the tank, the more expertise and the more hard work it requires. And those small bowls and tanks are only for experts mm, like me. Are you sure about this? Jokes apart, I recommend starting with a 2 feet into 1 feet tank as they are not so small to require the utmost in experience and expertise or too big to cost you any fortune. I recommend to keep things as simple as possible in the beginning because actually somewhere in your heart you are not really sure if you really love it or if you will still love it after you have one. Now let's talk about the type of the tank. I classify tank as aquarium having two types planted tank and a non-planted tank. Planted tanks are just out of the question for beginners. While non-planted tank also has two types. First is a bare bottom and the second is a tank with substrate. A bare bottom tank is the most simple type of tank you can ever have. And for these types of tank, a sponge filter is enough. While if you choose to have substrate, you can use sand, gravel, stones, etc. And in a aquarium with substrate, we have to use more complex filters such as power filters, hang on back filters, canister filters etc and all. But for you as a beginner, a power filter or hang on back filter will be enough depending on the fish you choose to have. Like if you choose a fish with fast flow, you will need a power filter. While if you choose fishes with prefer slow flow, you will need a hang on back filter. Now let's talk about the core of the hobby which is the fish. I have selected 3 best fishes for you guys. First is guppies. These guys are small, peaceful and beautiful and are perfect for beginners. Except for the fact that they breed really fast but that can be cured by just keeping males and females separately. The CMS fighting fish or the beta is one of the most beautiful fishes in the world and are very hard. The only problem with these guys is the fact that they are really aggressive and you can't house more than one beta together. The pleco or the suckermont catfish will give you no trouble except for the fact that some species of these guys can grow really big and the fact that they are generally not kept as the center fish in an aquarium. Other fishes you can keep as a beginner are mollies, swat tails, cory catfish, minnows, tiger bubs, etc. If you ask me, my first fishes were an Oscar and a an Gorami. I personally won't recommend an Oscar to an absolute beginner. Every fish has its own challenge, but like Joshua J. Marine said, Challenges are what makes life interesting. Overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. So, I didn't cover everything in this video. Therefore, a part 2 will also be coming soon. If it has already been uploaded, you'll find the link in the description box. And if no, please give me a little more time. So that's all for today guys. I end this video by welcoming all those beginners and newcomers to this great world of aquascaping and fishkeeping. Thank you for watching.